Your seven years as a teenager are supposed to be a time for transition. Transition from middle school to high school, and then high school to college. Transition from one friend group to another, and the most prominent, transition from childhood to adulthood. Growing up, you always want to be older than you are. When you're five, you wish to be six. When you're 15, you wish to be 16. Each new year comes with a set of new privileges, new boundaries, and soon you are, yet again, on a mission to make it to the next age. Seven, seventeen, anything older than you are at that moment. I have always wished I could be older than I am, yet influences from my older sister, peers, and community have helped me to realize that maybe this shouldn't be my wish. I believe that the future is full of wonderful yet difficult experiences that will challenge me emotionally and personally. Yet, so far in my young life, I have been extremely privileged to always be able to live happily. As I grow up and struggle with different experiences, I will always keep one belief in the front of my mind. I believe that the best way to put a smile on your face is by channeling your inner child. The summer before 8th grade, I stood on the rough concrete outside my dark oak cabin in Soda Springs. I bobbed on the balls of my feet, anxious but excited. I had stood on the same ground on July 30th for the past 12 years. Today was my 13th birthday. I had on my sister's dress and a smile that could outlast any bad news thrown my way. Ever since I could think, I'd been waiting for this moment. It was 6.30 in the evening, and for the past 7 hours and 3 minutes, I had officially been a teenager. As my body stood quiet, my mind roared and thundered with thoughts. I imagined every moment I would now be able to have. Being at the top of my middle school, preparing for the venture into high school. That's right, high school. I was now going to be considered a young adult given privileges and rights that I had never had before. This is a stepping stone in everyone's life, a time for change and growth. It has always been thought of as a good thing, that with each year we mature and expand ourselves as people. And as I stood here, my mind drifted to what the future would hold. I was excited about going to college, giddy when it came to the idea of my dream wedding, but truly I was ecstatic about the idea of being older, closer to all of the dreams I hoped to accomplish in my life. As I stepped down onto the dock and watched a mother duck lead her inquisitive chicks, I wondered if she was happy to be a mother, happy to be growing up and older, or if she wished she could go back to a different part of her life once again. That little duckling got me to thinking about whether or not I was ready to be an adult. I started to worry that I was now leaving childhood behind forever, but I knew this wasn't the case. My one rule of being a teenager is that the best way to put a smile on your face is by acting like a kid. We hear every day how important it is to get good grades, and it is, but the need to succeed shouldn't control you and turn your life into a never-ending list of to-dos. We are told to act like adults, but now and again, watching a Disney movie with your little brother is just the medicine you may seek, and whenever you hear that you need to grow up or act like an adult, you should remind yourself that you are only a teenager, and even when you're 60 years old, there is never a better way to remind yourself how to live than acting like a kid again.